you or somebody that you know is looking to buy a 3D printer this holiday season, these are some important things that you should know before making it the purchase. Most importantly, what are you hoping to make? If you're looking to make larger or mid-sized things like armor, helmets, this cursed Pokemon, 3D printed dragons, or anything like that, then you're probably going to want to buy an FDM printer, which is what I have behind me. On the flip side, if you want to make really small and super detailed stuff like this dice or custom keycaps, then you probably want to go the resin 3D printer route. And if you're not sure, personally, I would recommend going the route of an FDM printer. An important thing to know about resin printers is that they do need to be in a pretty well ventilated area and they can be stinky because this printer can go pretty much anywhere in your house and it isn't going to stink up the place. However, an important thing to note about all 3D printers across the board, even if it says that it is quiet, 3D printers are traditionally not that quiet. So if you're buying one thinking that you're gonna put it in your kid's bedroom or maybe like right on the kitchen table, it may not be the ideal spot. So just keep in mind that it is going to create a fair amount of noise. Another important thing to consider is that some 3D printers do require quite a bit of assembly time. So if this is little Susie's big gift for the year and you don't wanna be setting up a 3D printer for the next four hours on Christmas day, I would recommend going with something that is already going to be pre-assembled. While this is not an exhaustive list of printers that do come assembled, all the printers that I have linked down below are printers that basically are almost completely assembled. It will require about 20 minutes of setup, but nothing too crazy. This comes into another important reality of 3D printers that I wish I knew before I got my first one, which is that 3D printers are very slow. All of the printers that I have linked down below are some of the fastest 3D printers out there on the market right now, but even still, you are going to have to wait multiple, multiple hours, if not sometimes days for your print to finish. So again, if this is going to be one of the big presents for a child in your life, just make sure they have some kind of expectation of that so that they're not disappointed of how long it's taking for things to come off of the printer. A final consideration is should you buy a 3D printer with multicolor functionality? This is going to be a hot take and it's probably going to upset some people, but in my opinion, no. While making multicolor 3D prints can give you a really cool effect, it does add a layer of complexity to learning and it's just another piece that can go wrong. It's not something that you won't be able to overcome, but it is something that if you're getting set up for the first time, it might just not be worth it. For the first year plus of me having my 3D printer, I did not have a multicolor unit, which means all my prints came out in one color. But that led me going down the path of learning how to paint my 3D prints, which both of these are painted. Personally, I think that it's a lot of fun painting my 3D prints and it can be a lot cheaper. Instead of spending an extra couple hundred dollars on the multicolor unit, you can buy a good set of acrylic paints for about $20 and have a ton of versatility with those. So just my personal option. If you really, really want the multicolor, I'm sure you will love it too, but I think that it is more than fine to just start out with the single color. Finally, some additional notes on the printers that I do have linked down below. These printers are all from Bamboo Labs and they're the same brand that I print on. These printers are fast, they're reliable, they come almost completely assembled, and in the year and a half plus that I have had my printer, I have not had to replace or upgrade a single part on it. My overall pick for a new 3D printer would be the Bamboo Labs A1 without the AMS Lake combo. It will allow you to print stuff up to about this size, or if you're okay with only printing smaller stuff about this size, then the A1 Mini may also be the perfect option for you. I'll be answering questions all holiday season about buying 3D printers, so let me know what else you have questions on, and let me know if you snag your first 3D printer.